Now, Carson Meredith joining us to talk about the weather, of course. And, of course, Carson, you're also talking about the fact that uh, more cold is coming and so might some potentially severe stuff we need to be aware of. Yeah, this active pattern, Chris, just has no signs of letting up just yet. We're kind of in a little bit of a lull today and most of tomorrow. And then by Friday especially, that's when that severe weather threat comes into play. And then heading into next week, the rest of the seven-day forecast, that's when we cool back down once again. So we got a lot to talk about over the next couple of minutes. Show you what's happening right now on the Way 31 Skycam Network, sponsored by Thompson Roofing and Construction. A bit of a gloomy start to the day. Temperatures across the board in the lower 40s. Had some mist over Sand Mountain earlier today, but that is long gone now. Still having a little bit of low visibility in Scottsboro down to three miles, but as far as that low cloud cover that was across much of Sand Mountain a few hours ago, that has since lifted. So I'm not expecting too much in the way of that dense fog to get your Wednesday started. There's that live view of the entire way. 31 Storm Tracker Early Warning Radar our network all quiet for the time being. Zoom things out just a little bit. There you see the back edge of that cloud cover now making its way towards Jackson and Memphis, Tennessee. Give it a few more hours and I think we'll have plenty of sunshine in parts of North Alabama, especially for the second half of the day today. So for the time being with that cloud cover sticking around, those temperatures will hold steady in that low to mid 40s range. But later this afternoon, once the sun comes up, sun comes out, that is, we'll warm up quickly into the mid 50s. 56 is your forecast high. Cloud cover is gone by midday. Today we'll have lots of sunshine as we go through the second half of the day, but that cloud cover comes right back this time tomorrow morning. But for most of the day on Thursday, we will stay dry by Thursday night and Friday morning. That's when our next warm front moves into North Alabama and along and ahead of that front going to have a few of those spotty showers early Friday morning and really throughout much of the day on Friday. Now during the day itself, I'm not too worried about severe weather on Friday. It's it's once we get towards Friday night when the cold front gets closer to North Alabama. And I will say this particular setup is very similar to what we saw back on Monday morning an early morning arrival time with these lines of storms, but it's still looking just a little bit stronger than what we saw on Monday. Note the time six o'clock Saturday morning, widespread showers and storms, some of which will likely be strong to severe. I can't nail down the specific timing just yet, but I think the main concerns are going to be damaging winds, very heavy rainfall, and that that chance will be there once again Saturday morning for a couple of those spin up tornadoes as well. As we go through Saturday morning, there's 9 a.m. What's left of the severe weather is in northeast Alabama, and we'll start to dry things out Saturday afternoon. The severe weather threat will come to an end, and looking ahead to Sunday, we should have plenty of sunshine. Again, still got to fine tune those details. We're still three days away from this particular event, but I just want you to go ahead and prepare now, especially given that this could be a nighttime event. Make sure you have multiple ways to get those warnings Friday night. It could be your way. 31 Storm Tracker Weather App, NOAA Weather Radio. Just have multiple ways to wake you up should warnings be issued Friday night. Rainfall wise, we're talking around an additional inch to inch and a half of rain through Saturday with a lot of that falling with that cold front and with those stronger storms as we get towards Friday night and Saturday. So a very active weather pattern, but today's mostly quiet. 56 today into the mid 70s before our cold front moves through Friday. And then as that front moves out, plenty of sunshine finally by early next week with those cooler temperatures back in the forecast, though, staying in the 50s. Chris Garson.